What's up, people? I figured I'd do a quick little soapbox to update everybody on my little baby eye. Um, still taking the steroid drops in my eye, but it does feel a little bit better today. I do have something to rant about, and I want to know if I'm just like the only person on the planet that like feels this way, which I'm probably not. It's funny because I'm one of the very few people on the planet that will actually say things that other people really want to say, but they just won't say it because they're scared that they might be judged or might be called mean or whatever else they might be called. So anyways, is there anyone else out there that thinks, or what I should say it like this. So we, today we went to Disney, okay, with um, John's brother. We went out there with Peter. And I guess like, you know, Disney's supposed to be like the happy, you know, go lucky place with all these Mickey Mouse ears and parades and all this fun stuff. But I feel like, I, you know, as Peter gets older and, you know, the more we go, it becomes more and more overcrowded and everything. I don't know. It's just, it's different. It's not like how it used to be. To be quite honest with you, and this just sounds like super sad, but I'm going to be totally honest with you. I actually, you know, I've lived in Florida my whole life pretty much, and I've never actually been to Disney World until I was 21, and John is the one that took me there. It's just because my parents, they couldn't afford to take us to Disney, and that's the God honest truth, so I had never been to Disney World. So anyways, I want to know, like, am I the only person that, like, stands in line with, um, you know, there's people that are standing behind you. You're standing in line to go get whatever, ice cream, something from somewhere in some store or whatever. And there's people that are behind you and you scoot up like, you know, four or five feet. And then like they scoot up four or five feet. I'm the type of person that likes like a, this, I have like this bubble, this invisible bubble. I don't like people in my bubble. It bothers me. I like to have my own space. I don't like people breathing on my neck or like talking too close to my face or just getting too close to my face, period. So it bothers me. So we're in line at this ice cream shop or whatever. And I'm taking a couple steps forward because there's two guys that are standing behind me. Hi, Denise. How are you? Hi, Jenny. How are you guys? What's up, Jessica? Hey, Angie. So anyways, I'm, I got these two guys that are standing behind me. I take two steps forward because I'm like, I can feel them breathing on my neck and it just, it bothers me. It, it drives me nuts because they're in my personal space. Yeah, I know. You're allowed to be in my bubble, Nezzy. I love you. Hi, Rach, my sister. I was just talking about my invisible bubble and how we were standing in a line at Disney and I have two people that are behind me and every two steps that I would take forward, they would take two more steps up forward. They stepped on the back of my boots. I mean, nobody wants the back of their Uggs stepped on. Hello. Okay. Nobody wants anybody breathing on the back of their neck. Hello. I don't want anybody's germs. I don't want any bad breath on my neck. Anyways. I know I'm not the only person that feels this strongly about personal bubbles. Um, I'm sure there's other people out there that feel strong about their personal bubbles too. But I will say something about it. <laughs> I was nice enough to bite my tongue for the moment and just say, okay, let me just, let me just take a couple steps away. I'll let John pay at the register and, uh, you know, be done with it. But anyways, so long, <laughs> I almost did Jessica. <laughs> I almost did, but you know, I've got this vessel thing going on in my eye and I know that if I like, if my blood pressure goes up, I might pop my freaking ass eye and I can't afford to do that because I need to be able to read and I need to be able, like even reading my text messages or reading emails, which is like, or it's super important. I mean, that's what I do for a living is, you know, monitor all of that. And we have thousands and thousands of text messages and emails per day. Um, if I can't read, you're screwed. My whole company is screwed, okay? So I have to be able to read. So anyways, besides the fact that people like are so on top of you at Disney, and we went today on a slow day, okay? I'm like, I couldn't imagine a day like on a really busy day. And I have a child. So you can't say I don't have a child and I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I do have a child. And I think it's really important that like these parents control their children in the middle of these parks. Like letting your child run off into Never Never Land is um, very irresponsible. And when they trip and fall and, you know, fall on their face or they get lost in the middle of a park, you can't feel bad because you're actually the one that's being totally irresponsible about it. 
Anyways, I think it's just not good to have children run loose. And I think you should be able to control your child. And when you tell your child, okay, no, stay right here. You know, don't go far. Don't run over those people. Don't go lick in that bar over there where they got to touch the bar to get up the stairs. You know, it's not, not, doesn't taste good. Might get some germs. <laughs> um, it's just crazy. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is was a little cranky today because you know actually it wasn't it wasn't cranky so I can't even say I was being cranky and that's why I was being like that but seriously I mean come on like control your children this is not even like just in Disney I'm being dead serious think about like when you guys go to like Target or like I mean I don't go to Publix anymore because I order everything off Instacart because I don't have time for anything but when I used to go to Publix, these children, these little, little children, they're just running down the aisles and grabbing things. And I mean, listen, I grew up with lots of structure. And if I didn't do what I was told, I got my ass beat. Okay. It wasn't like a, this is a, okay, do what you're told. Or you're going to go sit in a corner and, you know, cry about it. Oh, no, no, no. You're going to get your ass beat. So, you know that's the type of rules that I grew up on. You know, I would stand in a corner and it wasn't just standing in a corner. I had to kneel on two knees and hold two books up. And if my arms drifted down after five minutes, it wasn't good, <laughs> but they just don't have that kind of parenting anymore. I'm not saying that that's the way to parent every child, but I'm saying that these children, they run amok at these theme parks and it's very irresponsible of these parents and it drives me nuts. Okay. I know a lot of you guys won't say it out there, but I'm telling you, it's very irresponsible. Keep like, I don't even believe in the leashes that they have on these children. That's not, that's not the way to, um, you know, raise your child is having it on a leash. You know, they're not animals. So you shouldn't put your child on a leash. You should have your child respect you enough to listen when you say, stop, don't go far. Don't step on those people's shoes, all that other fun stuff. So anyways, that's my rant for the day. <laughs> people in my bubble, people that do know me know that I have a bubble and not to come in my bubble unless they are invited. Um, those of you that don't know me, don't come in my bubble. Um, and then, you know, those of you that are parents out there, if you know you're a good parent, awesome. Big ups to you. Those of you out there, let your children run wild in theme parks and grocery stores and Target and Walmart and parking lots and wherever else there's people. Please stop. Just control your child. There's so many children at Disney World. And just to have all those children running amok is just... The poor parenting skills is what made my Disney trip today not that great. <laughs> in all honesty... Being around Peter and being around John and being able to see, you know, our family and stuff like that, obviously that was great. And it's always a good time with our family. But I mean, it, I really, really dawned on me today that, you know, there are some very poor parenting skills out there. And um, you guys should really think about that. You know, it's not, it's not okay. I have one child. John definitely wants to have another one. Um, we're talking about it, but I mean, it's not gonna be anytime soon because I'm not gonna put a baby in a book bag and run off to Titan Medical Center every day and work, you know, 18 hours because it wouldn't be fair to baby boo number two. Um, but, you know, just listen, I'm not telling you guys to, you know, be mean to your children. I'm simply saying, control your children. Don't let them run amok in the park. Bad things happen to children like that. And it annoys the shit out of people like me. Anyways, I'm done for tonight. And I wanted to say hello. My eye is feeling better. Thank you, Justin. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll feel a little bit better over the next few days. And uh, we'll kind of go from there. I'll keep you guys posted um, of what's going on. And be a good parent, please. It'll drive people like me so much happier. And I'll enjoy my days at the parks like Disney. For now, I will stick with Universal Studios where all the big kids go. Talk to you soon. Bye.